Hey, young world, it's Lydia, and come follow me as I make Taqueria, which is carrots, jalapeno, and onion, and a pickle sauce. All right, so here we go. That's going to be four cups of white vinegar, two cups of water, and all I'm doing is just really making my own pickling agent. I didn't follow any um, particular recipe I did look at some online and I kind of like made my own up as I went but that was a tablespoon and a half of salt pickling salt a tablespoon of sugar because that's what I wanted to do I wanted to put a tablespoon of it in there so after that I was like okay now they were using black peppercorns all right what I'm gonna use okay just put your heat on as you can see so I'm thinking about it the whole time, and of course y'all know I ain't got no music. I got music playing in the background. I keep busy when I'm working in the kitchen. So here I'm just basically prepping my jalapeno peppers, my onions, and my carrots. Um, and thinking about how am I going to create this to be mine, and am I going to be able to do it again? So you better write it down. So... Um, just cut your jalapenos up any way you like. If you want them real small, you do them real small. I've seen people make them, um, you know, cut that one big pepper into three parts. Um, but I just went with slices. I went with my onions and rings because if it's just a garnish or a side dish, I didn't want to be picking up little onions. I wanted to be able to eat the onions. I was initially going to be making um, pickled onions as well. So I went with a pickling pepper back then. It went kind of fast. That was alum. So I put like a quarter of a teaspoon of alum to help with crispiness. A tablespoon of mixed garlic. You can use spicy garlic as well. But that uh, peppercorn mix was um, store-bought like that. So I just went with that. It was pickling peppers. So it basically had all your little spices and herbs in one little um, McCormick's dish. Um, there's my onion rings. And you can see I got them cut up pretty good. Um, that was about four cups of carrots, two cups of jalapenos, and one large onion. I know y'all saw it displayed past there, but... This is a voiceover. My pot look a little upside down. Now cook them until they about a, um, the jalapeno peppers is about an army green color. So that's what I did. I cooked them like that. Then I turned the fire off and left them off. I don't know why I ain't turned it off yet, but there you go. All right. So now look at this new ladler. I got made by T File. I got this from the store Ollie's. And I was like, mm, this will come in handy when trying to scoop things out and not have to wait for a little teeny bit. All right. So I go ahead and fill that up. And basically, I'm going to be taking the steps to canning process at this point. I'm going to be, you know, fill up my car jars about one head, one fourth head space. Um, all of them and just putting the product into all of the jars. I made a total of five jars. So while I got y'all through this process, I want to talk about my canning experience. So you know I've only been canning now for less than six months. And when I'm canning, I want to can things that I'm going to eat in the future. And I'm going to enjoy it. But I'm also going to can things that I need to have on hand in case of emergency. Now, if the emergency don't happen within a certain amount of time, which is 18 months, I'll find ways to incorporate some of the things that I use into dishes like soups and um, chili and um um, I have chicken, so with the chicken, I can take and make chicken salad or chicken and dumplings with it, things like that. But this relish is amazing, and it's a type of relish. 
and it's used in a Mexican cuisine. I've never had it before, so I don't know what the store board tastes like. All I know is mine's is right. If I was saying that this was the first time that someone would try this, they would say, mm, I like it. Now, I'm going to have to go buy the store version now because I don't know what it tastes like or what theirs tastes like. You know what? I ain't going to buy nothing. I'm going to go ahead with what I got because my way is the right way and I don't want to manipulate any other way. And, you know, that might make me think, hey, well, I must have did something wrong. No, it's good. I tasted the carrots. The carrots were not, they're not going to be mushy. They they have a nice crunch to them. The jalapeno peppers have a nice crunch to them. Um, the onion have a nice crunch to them. Everything is perfect. The um, pickling sauce, that pickling recipe, that's the one right there. I'm going to use that same pickling recipe a lot of times. It worked for me, and I love the flavor. I don't think I can go wrong with this flavor ever again. So I'm looking forward to making um, pickles with that, and I'm also going to make, what's up, Naya? I'm also going to make um, onions. And also, I'm going to do my pickling eggs that way as well. So, um, that's my next goal. I want to be able to pickle eggs, y'all. I just cannot get the peelings off without breaking them up. And, you know, of course, oh, that's Naya back there. I'm like, what's going on back there? That's Naya giving me some more water. We we, we kind of went OD. Keep in mind, when you're using a pot that you normally, you can, you can water bath in any large enough pot. Long as you get that inch head space over top, sorry, yeah, headspace over top of the actual um, jar, you should be fine. And this was a big pot that I purchased, and I just basically took the um, the rack that I use at the bottom of my pressure canner and put it in the middle, and then I put those on top of it. But this is something me and Naya learned. What we learned, we knew and realized, just if you don't have enough water in the jar uh, in the can, the water bather, just put all your jars in there. And you know when you put things in there, the water rises. So get them all in there first before you go filling up the pot all the way because the jars itself is going to rise. And we didn't think about that. So that's why you see us removing the excess water out of the pot. Um don't tell nobody I was touching in there. I don't plan on giving these away because this is actually good. I let my husband, look at she always doing something in the camera, y'all. <laughs> anyway, um, the product is good. My husband could taste it on with the hamburger, with anything. He enjoyed it. And look how great it came out. I really enjoyed making something new and different. And I'm going to enjoy eating it. And I'm not going to pressure it on nobody. I'm just saying it speaks for itself. And you will not be disappointed because I'm not. I mean, I did see the recipe out there all over YouTube University. And I did take the idea. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I'm well. My family's well. And I hope that you're well, too. Have a great rest of your day or night.